Hello again and welcome back to the channel. It is awesome having you here today. It is a fantastic Sunday afternoon, unless you're watching another replay, in which case it could be any day of the week at any time of the day. Uh, but I'm here live and uh, since it is a big football Sunday, I figured why not go through some cool football cards that I have in my collection. Also, I have this blaster box of 2005 upper deck and uh, if you're familiar with 2005 that was the aaron Rodgers rookie year um there are nine cards per pack and seven packs plus one bonus pack per box i believe upper deck sets were huge back then like 500 600 cards so the odds are not great but let me put it this way i think i paid about 35 dollars, including shipping for this box if i pull the aaron Rodgers, uh it'll be all worth it yes rj thank you uh if you're watching on the replay, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm talking over to the chat window. RJ ENG is over here. Priest, uh, yeah, it is a bash. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a bash. Uh, it's just a, what I thought I'd figure I'd do. Uh, it is football. I do have some uh, old packs from Fairfield boxes. Figured, you know what? It's a good time to uh, trot them on out. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything huge because they're the Fairfield ones. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to open the packs. And we can talk about football. We can talk about baseball coming up. Uh, I will do a plug for my break, my baseball break tomorrow. Um, I have spots available. You can go check out um, the spots that I've left. I'll go over that later. I also have a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card giveaway. Uh, all you have to do is basically just be subscribed to my channel, go to the giveaway video, and uh, leave a comment telling me your favorite baseball team, and then you're entered. Uh, who's going to win? That is a good question. If I knew that, I would be in Vegas putting huge buckarooski down i'll say this um i would not bet against uh tom brady although i think you know what the chiefs man they got momentum they uh i don't know they're hard they're a really hard offense to stop it's a it's a good thing i'm sitting at my table opening cards instead of um trying to plot a defensive scheme to take to take down the Kansas city chiefs uh mitch and dad thank you for joining i'm gonna go through some cool football cards like i said i do have the 2005 blaster box i'm gonna save that for the end uh because you know what there might be fireworks there uh mentioned uh, anyway if you are watching the replay or live feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not like i said uh i'm, I'm doing a fire sale fl not fire sale, flash sale of uh i think i have like 15 spots remaining in my baseball card break i'll just list them a couple of times but I'll do it quickly here. The uh, Reds are still available for $15. The Mets are still available for $15. The $10 spots are the Brewers, the A's, the Twins, the Rangers, the Diamondbacks, Rockies, Giants, Marlins, Padre, I'm uh, sorry, not Padres, not, uh, Pirates, the other P team, uh, Royals, Red Sox, and Orioles. Uh, they're $10 per spot, two team minimum. The break is happening tomorrow. 5 p.m. Eastern time. I think I might do something a little different. I may try to start like 22 minutes early and just flip through cards and see if my internet does its thing that it likes to do. And uh, and if it doesn't do it, then we'll be fine. And if it does do it, I can start up a second stream without having to stop in the middle of opening a pack. But that's just one of the things if you join me. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. There is a chance that, uh, <laughs> that it'll work or not. I mean, I got to find 22 to 22 minutes worth of uh, cards to flip through. In the meantime, let's go through some cool football cards that are in my collection. Some of these are from previous football card breaks that I've run, and uh, the spots just have cards out of it. And other times, there's stuff I pulled out of Fairfield boxes. But here we go. So who he is playing in the big game today? Keyshawn Vaughn. There's a rated optic rookie pink. Um, I know there's a lot of baseball fans um, that watch my channel, but you know what? There's a lot of football fans too. And let's be honest. Uh, there's some people who aren't going to watch the game today, I imagine. Um, I think the question, RJ, is if Brady wins today, he says he wants to play till he's 50. But I wonder, if he wins today, does he just hang it up? Um, or does he say, no, I'll see if I can get two or three more? Or if he loses today, I think if he loses today, I'm pretty sure he's back next year because he wants he wants to win one without, without Belichick. Um, but it'll be interesting to see. I mean, Peyton won, uh, won five years ago, and he hung it up. He, he was like, yep, I'm done. I'm done. It's, it's worth it for me. Right. Let's go through some cool cards. We've got a Keyshawn Vaughn. Uh, Optic has come out. Uh, at least I've heard it's come out. I haven't actually seen any in person. Um, 
But uh, apparently the fat packs are out. I'm not sure about the hanger boxes, the blaster boxes, when they'll be available. There will be a feeding frenzy. Um, unfortunately, as a, as a primary baseball card guy, it's going to be tough because Series 1 baseball comes out. It's supposed to come out on Wednesday. At least Hobby is, and uh, blaster boxes are supposed to come out for retail. Unfortunately, it's the same week that I saw that there's regular hoops, 2020-2021. 20, uh, not just two pre premium from last year, but the, the new hoops. Uh, and optic is coming out at the same time as baseball so i think it's going to make it tougher to get baseball for me than the rd tough it's been anyway uh we have a michael floyd rookie for the arizona cardinals um greg olson rookie card with the bears uh i'd say he's still with the panthers but i think he's retired dante culpepper f card really going back there really going far back calvin johnson who just got elected he is um He's now in the Hall of Fame. Well, he's going to be inducted in, in the summer, but yeah, he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. DeAndre Swift, um, pink ref, uh, reactive, I think is what they call it, from uh, Mosaic NFL debut card. This is a cool little bazooka card, Matt Shab. And then we have the Upper Deck Premier of uh, Matt Shab. Larry Fitzgerald, Upper Deck Premier rookie card, also from 2000. This one's from 2004, I believe. Um, well, Fitz, he doesn't get a huge amount of love in the hobby because he's a wide receiver, and it seems to be quarterbacks and more quarterbacks. David Johnson, rookie. Second, Michael Floyd. Dominique Rogers, Cromarty. You can see the teams, by the way, that I did with football that um, I had trouble selling out. I have a lot of Cardinals cards, Steve Breston. Um, I did, you know what? I had the Panthers. I never sold a single Panther spot. And then I pulled this Cam Newton rookie card. Um, it's like a charcoal charcoal rookie card numbered out of 55 and it was super cool unfortunately it came fresh out of the pack i don't know if you can see it on camera but there's a little bit of a ding in the bottom right corner otherwise this bad boy would probably be worth a couple hundred bucks i i don't know what it's worth with the ding corner to tell you the truth but it's still a cool card cam Newton rookie card um yeah, it's like i said i'm going to be opening cards in a few moments i'm just going to go through some cool cards that i happen to have to flip through kelvin benjamin I pulled this out of a, an Illusions Mega Box, a Yeter Gross Matos. Uh, and no one bought the Panthers uh, in that that particular break. And so that is now mine. Uh, Sam Darnold, it'll be interesting to see with the new head coach if uh, he can finally pull it together. This is a Von Miller numbered out of 2014. Jake Plummer, Bazooka card. Bradley Chubb from Don. You have no problem getting to the playoffs. Um, anyway, and then he has several weeks of the playoffs. Uh, Devin DuVernay, rookie card from Absolute. I gotta say, Absolute cards are not worth a ton of money. They're actually pretty low in terms of look at. They have a great little shine. Um, Lamar Jackson, pink reactive MVP card. J.K. Davins, rookie. Going really far back here. I think this is either 2000. I think it was 2000. Yeah. Um, Terrell Suggs, rookie. Uh, current 2020 Devin DuVernay. Uh, these illusions cards, by the way, these blue parallels is one of Lamar Jackson. It is really cool to look at. It's like almost impossible. If I didn't know it was Lamar Jackson, it would be really impossible to read the writing. It is, it is that difficult. Um, Jacob's cards. Thank you for joining us. Um, I say Chiefs are going to pull it out, but usually when I cheer, uh, when I when I make a prediction, the other team wins. But uh, I say the Chiefs pull it out. But we'll see. I mean, we're going to find out in what the game starts in two hours. So we'll know the answer in about five or six hours. It depends. I mean, they have a long, long, long halftime. Um, but it should be fun. What do you, Jacob? What do you think? Uh, um, by the way, I think I'm subscribed to you. Let me write down your your information. I'll I'll, I'll hit the sub button after uh, after I'm done, Jacob. If I haven't already, like I said, I, I just hit over 900. I'm trying to get to a thousand. I'm running a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card giveaway. Go to my channel and uh, check it out. It's free to enter. Basically, you hit the subscribe button and then leave a comment telling me favorite baseball team. And then a week from now, or well, a week from yesterday, I, uh, I'm i going to draw a winner. Michael Bennett, I got two of those rookies. I think it's cool. Upper Def FX, Fred Taylor. Like I said, there's uh, I have a blaster box of 2005. So at the end of this, I will be searching for the Aaron Rodgers rookie card. I looked it up on the the world, the world's largest auction site, and they're going for about 50 buckarooskies. Um so if I pull one, it's going to be awesome. And I'll probably follow to my chair. Muffers, sports cards, thank you for joining us. 
We are doing picks for the game today. Um, let me know what you think. Prism's super cool this year. Uh, let me know who you think is going to win. Um, by the way, since we're doing picks and stuff like that, has anyone actually put down uh, a bet, like an actual money bet on the game? By the way, if you haven't seen Illusions this year, they are super cool cards, although the lettering is like in black. It is super hard to read. Um, if anyone's put any bets down, you know, in, in Vegas or online or, you know, wherever you put your bets down, let me know. Are you betting on the game itself or are you betting on like the coin toss um, or like how long the national anthem is going to be or <laughs> one of the um, one of the 800 other prop bets? I did this one thing. Uh, I'm not going to name the company, but there's a company that's been doing commercials where they're doing squares thing that's for free. And basically, you give them your email address, and then they basically spam you with uh, with email trying to sell their services. But they're saying that you could win like fifty thousand. So I, I answered it because it was free. Um, it would be amazing if I uh, if I won. There's a Sean Alexander rookie that I pulled. Did I pull? I think I pulled this out of a Fairfield box, which is crazy. So you bet it on the over under. Did you bet on the over or the under? Um, Brandon Cooks. These are important things. And also, how much money are you talking about here? Did you put down a uh, second mortgage on your house to do this? Or uh, these are the questions that people want to know the answers to. Okay. So uh, I pulled this red hot rookie out of a Donruss hanger box. By the way, it seemed like uh, Donruss has not been on the shelves for a long time, but the hanger boxes were a lot better to me than the blaster boxes and the gravity feeds. There was a Joe Brother. Uh, this is from a mosaic cello pack, Jalen Hurts. NFL debut pink uh, reactive. It's looking like Jalen Hurts will be the starter next year. I've heard rumors about old Wentzy um, going to the Chicago Bears. I don't know if it's official, if it's going to happen, if they're going to back out or something. But uh, And they may be sending Nick Foles back to the Eagles. This, this, these are all rumors that I heard. Of course, you know I'm, I'm obviously not a reporter for the football league. Um, but... Um, that is what I heard. So as they said, I bet it on the over. And you bet cards. Okay. Um, Chiefs win 28 to nothing. Brady gets sacked eight times and throws five picks. Luffers. Man, that is a bold. That is a bold prediction. I don't think has, has Brady ever thrown five picks in a single game ever. Um, I will say this. The last time someone scored 28 points on a Tom Brady-led team, things did not end well. And uh, it did not end well at all. It was 28 to three at halftime, but... Um, 28 is not a good number. That's not the, that's not the number you're looking for. If you're rooting against old Tom Brady, Saquon Barkley, I got Baker Mayfield rated rookie 2018, Joey Bosa. This is uh from playoff. It's Sam Darnold and it's the green variation. Um, then he's due for five picks. Yeah. He has been in the league for 20 years. So, um, I cheer for the, the, and Ben Roethlisberger is good for at least a couple. I mean, he threw four interceptions in the playoff game. Anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, Jameis Winston. So what was funny when I pulled these out of some tops is this is the Jameis Winston rookie and a Marcus Mariota, but there's no RC. And I found out the reason was because these are photo variations of um, of the rookie cards, and it makes me wish that Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota would have starting jobs again. Uh, what do you guys think? It, it does. I'm just throwing out speculation that I read on the internet here. I heard that, that uh, it's looking a lot more like Drew Brees is going to retire. Just say he does. Do you think that uh, Taysom Hill uh, gets to be the starter? Or do you think they're going to make James Winston the starter in New Orleans? Or do you think that Drew Brees is going to change his mind and come back? Anyway, we'll see. I managed to pull two different J.K. Dobbins uh, NFL debuts out of Mosaic Cello Packs. I pretty much almost opened exclusively Cello Packs. Uh, I got a Joshua Kelly rookie card there. And then I'm saving. I got a couple of big ones coming up here. Uh, Isaiah Simmons. Debut of A.J. Dillon, Kenneth Murray. Uh, I got this Kyler Murray um, score rookie card in a trade. So that's cool. Uh, I got another Elite Series Burrow. I think I pulled like two Burrows out of two hangers in a row at one point. It was really cool. Um, I hope he has a bounce back year and he stays healthy. Uh, the Bengals might want to invest in an offensive line at some point. That would be cool. Jerry Goff, who is now a Detroit Lion. This is from 2016 playoff. It is rookie, uh, purple variation, 24 out of 49. Um, there is a little bit. You know what's funny? I pulled some like, really cool rookie variation cards, and there's always like a corner issue. I put, I pale, whenever people say pack fresh online, by the way, that doesn't mean anything. I pulled this directly out of the pack, 
put it in a sleeve and a top loader. So, so subsequently, I moved it to a card saver. But, uh, and it had, had a corner issue directly out of the pack. So that's what pack fresh is sometimes. This amazingly, uh, a lot of people are wondering, why do you buy so many, um, so many Fairfield boxes? And the answer is, I actually pulled this Russell Wilson rookie card out of a Fairfield box at one point. And uh, I probably should have stopped when I pulled this. Instead, I went and bought like six more, trying to pull a second one. Uh, at one point, this card was going for about 50 bucks. And then toward the end of the year, the end of the football year, I mean, football season, it went down to like 30. So if he has a good year next year, I'm hoping it's going to go back up. And then that would be awesome. We have uh, finally one more Joe Burrow. Um, so there's some cards that I pulled in the last year, either through breaks or through um, – other means for the box. Here's the upper deck box. But like I said, before I get to that, um, I got some junk wax packs from old Fairfield boxes. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Like I said, uh, are you guys going to hunt? I know we're talking about football here, but are you going to hunt for um, for retail baseball this week? Are you going to go to the local card shop and just buy a hobby box? Are you going to say, hey, Kevin, why don't you go hunt for this stuff and then I'll buy into one of your breaks, one of your mixers? By the way, if if I'm able to find Series 1, or even if I'm not able to find um, Series 1, there's going to be another break later in the week. It's going to be a mixer. Uh, I hope I get Series 1 because then I can mix Series 1 with 2020, with 2015, and do like a crazy break. Because there's going to be a lot of 2021 breaks. I think I'll be the only one I can think of probably that's going to have 2021, 2020, 2015, 2014, 2013. It's just going to be wild. Uh, Luffers, you got that Wilson this summer for $2. Who, who sold it? What kind of a shop? Is, is it, was it a card shop or like an antique shop? Um, what kind of a place would sell that card for $2? That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But good job for the steal. By the way, back to baseball for a second. I saw someone, there's a Cody Bellinger variation where he's like coming to home plate. I think it sells for like two or 300 bucks. And, um, Someone said that they bought it at their local card shop for like $5. And I thought, who is the person running that card shop that sold that card for that little? Did they not have access to the internet or something? Anyway, so as you can see, we have some Fleer. We have some Leaf Draft, some Score, Notre Dame Packs. I know, not super not super exciting. But, you know, you got to warm yourself up before you open something cool like a 2005. Besides, I just started this like 18 minutes ago. Like, it's not a – got time to kill unless you want to watch commercials on the internet or something. Um, let's be honest, those, those same commercials are going to be, um, uh, my card shop sadly only has retail. That's so weird. What kind of a card shop only gets retail? I mean, don't, do they not have a license to get hobby? Do they not have a thing with Panini? And uh, anyway, I'm asking all these questions like you're on the business. Uh, before I get into these packs, like I said, uh, I made a flash sale announcement video this morning. Um, cause I have a break baseball card break tomorrow, 5 PM Eastern time live streamed. Um, there's some $15 teams left, including the Reds and the New York Mets. And then there's $10 teams available, uh, two team minimum. The teams available are Brewers, Oakland Athletics, Minnesota Twins, Texas Rangers, Arizona Diamondbacks, Colorado Rockies, San Francisco Giants, Miami Marlins, Pittsburgh Pirates, Kansas City Royals, Boston Red Sox, and then Baltimore Orioles. Amazingly enough, um, I think it's like the same 13 teams that uh, that are always like fighting to get taken. Um, but you know what? I think I said, I made a list. There's about 19 um, rookie cards in series one baseball that's coming out that are going to be probably really big and worth chasing. And there's some of those teams that are listed. Like for example, the giants are going to have a Joey bar rookie um, to have someone Royals, maybe two uh, Red Sox is Bobby Dalbeck rookie Orioles have Mount castle. With Mount Castle, the, the Orioles are all of a sudden going to be one of the biggest teams. Um, a couple other teams have big rookies. So you'll see. All of a sudden, the Diamondbacks will be a hot team. So in these Notre Dame packs, they're, they're, used to, they're usually pretty lousy. Um, but like I said, I got them in Fairfield boxes. There is like a Joe Montana card that uh, I haven't graded stuff, but there's some people who have graded and they took the Joe Montana card and they're selling it, I think, for like 30 or 50 bucks or something. So anyway, a lot of black and white photography. Um, I know that Notre Dame has been a long, a long time for, um, as a school and as a, as a sports school, New Rockney. Um, but it's weird. I feel like they didn't get the license to like, um, this came out of the 90, 1990, 
I feel like they didn't get the license for a lot of like 1980s stuff. Um, it's weird to me that there was like so few uh, color pictures. Anyway, but we'll blow through these as I'm talking. If there's anything on your mind about the game today, um, you guys excited about the halftime show? Um, do you think it's going to be a blowout? Do you think it's going to be like 80 points scored and like defense is going to be optional? Let's be honest. It could be one of those games. It's like 45 to 42 or something. By the time we're done. I personally love high flying offense. If it's like a, a 12 to nine field goal kind of game, that's not going to, that's not going to be exciting. Um, also a couple years ago when it was uh, that 20 to three, Blowout, but it was like a low scoring blowout. It did not look at that. Look at that photograph of Pete Duranko. Um, Reggie Who. Nothing like a good uh, kicker card, by the way. Mike Fanning. Yeah, like I th like I said, um, there's a reason that uh, Notre Dame packs are in um, are in like the Fairfield boxes because they they can they can barely give these suckers away. But you know what? If I pull the Montana, I'll probably do a giveaway. Um, I have pulled. I have pulled uh, that card in the past. So I, I you'll probably see if I pull it, there's a Tim Brown. By the way, this is like one of the worst pictures of Tim Brown. It, it's out of focus. Speaking of the Montana card, here it is. So like I said, pulled it. It's not worth a ton raw, but if you do the grading route, um, I think it's worth a decent amount as long as it grades well. I'll probably just do a giveaway because people still love Joe Montana after all these years. Speaking of big games, dude won a bunch of them. Dude won a ton of them. Speaking of the Notre Dame set, there's 100, 100 cards in the set. So anyway, we already got one Montana. Can we get a second one? Let's find out. Either way, be on the lookout. I'll probably do a giveaway, like I said, for that card. I'll probably throw in some other ones, too. Um, as far as I know, unless unless I'm wrong with the checklist, I think that's the only one. Um, Collegiate Collection, Inc., Louisville, Kentucky. I wonder if they're still, uh, I wonder if they're still in business. That would be interesting. They also, there's also um, LSU I've seen. I think there's Alabama, North Carolina. I think there's definitely North Carolina. Bob Goldick. He was a radio host for a while. Oh, um, oh, that was Mike Goldick, sorry. Um, he also played in the National Football League. Um, but North Carolina, there's like a Michael Jordan card. Actually, you know what? Why am I opening that pack? That score pack. I'm, ugh, I got totally distracted. I was looking at the chat and I got distracted. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Like I said, we're going to go through this, and uh, I think about 10 minutes will be the upper deck. And uh, if I pull that uh, that Aaron Rodgers rookie card, I'm going to be so happy. Man, this guy played three sports, Kevin Hardy, football, basketball, baseball. Man, the old days of the three-sport wonders. Man, I wish that new Rockney card was worth a ton because I think I pulled four of them already. Um, can you imagine playing three sports? How do you even have time to go to class? And uh, I have time to go to class, man. This is the kind of card that you just love to see, a random score. Um, apparently, it's a whole pack of just random scorecards. There's the Tim Brown. Oh, there's the Montana for a second one. There we go. So maybe I'll do two giveaways, or maybe I'll do one giveaway. Um, or maybe I'll do one giveaway for two Montanas. Either way, it doesn't hurt to have Montana cards. Like, no one's going to be like, oh, no, I don't want a Montana card. So let's see. Oh, the, all of a sudden, the chat has... Uh, Exploded! All, like I had no no chat for a minute, and then all of a sudden there's like 800 things. Um, so let me go through a couple of them. I have to go have pizza. See you later, Jacob's cards. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy your pizza. Um, Luffer is any do for five. Yeah, be back. Uh, got the Wilson. Let me see. Let me see what I missed. Card collector two three eight nine. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're just doing a cool little football talk and rip and stuff like that. I also did a plug. I'm doing a break tomorrow. I'm, I'm doing a flash sale on the last few spots. I did a video about it this morning. You can go check them out. Um, there's about 10, 15 spots left. It should be super fun. Even if you uh, don't buy in, feel free to show up for the chat. Um, feel free uh, to have a good time. Here it's Percy again. I am going to be opening a 2005 blaster box of uh, Upper Deck looking for Aaron Rodgers rookie card. Uh, love for his. I also got an Aaron Rodgers. You got it. You got uh, Aaron Rodgers tops rookie card for twenty dollars. When was this? That card, isn't that card worth like two hundred dollars now or something ridiculous? Um, yesterday, I opened random packs and pulled an Austin Martin auto at a fifty, a Zach Britton for the Blue Jays one of one, and a Larry Johnson auto at a ten. 
man, were these hobby packs or retail packs that you opened? I, you know what? I've never pulled a one-on-one in my entire life. Uh, I hope I do it on a break at one point for, for someone who bought in because that would just be so cool. Um, but yeah, man, good for you, man. It's always Vegas Ferguson. It's always hard to pull a one-on-one. The odds are just filthy. Anyway, like I said, too, feel free in the chat to um, post the name of your channel. I have a very welcome live stream. Uh, you know, we all want subscribers. You know, I'd like to get over a thousand. I'm sure wherever you are, you'd like, no one's saying, I have too many subscribers. Please get rid of them. Anyway, so go feel free to post that retail. Um, he said, uh, Blue Jays 101. So was that Chrome update that you pulled it out of? Or uh, Chrome update's weird because it is, as far as I know, exclusively retail. I haven't seen any um, hobby listed anywhere. Um, I pulled an auto, even though the odds were like 10,000 to one or something. But uh I've seen a bunch of stuff. Someone, I saw someone on the internet pull a Juan Soto autograph from Chrome Update Retail out of, um, I think it was out of 50. Man, I would have fallen out of my chair if I pulled a Juan Soto out of 50 auto. So, score 1990, I looked it up. There's like a Deion Sanders card. There's a Bo Jackson card. There's also like a Barry Sanders card, but I think it's in the high series. Um, since these came out of a Fairfield box, I have no idea if they're high series or low series. Um, but like I said, we're opening these random packs. And then I'm really, we're really here for the 2005 upper deck, but I'm saving it for the end. John Elway, man, they had a lot of colors. This kind of reminds you, 19, 1990 was an interesting year for colors because 1990 tops baseball had like eight or nine different colors going on too. Huh? Trivia. But anyway, it should be a fun game. Man, look at those old Bucks uniforms with the uh, the orange and white. Looks like a, looks like a cream, uh, you know, never mind. Dion, is this the Dion Sanders card? I don't think it is. It might be, though. Let me put it off to the side. Uh, Reggie Rimbert, rookie. Rodney Hampton. Hot Gun of Warren Moon. Rich Carlos. Rob Clark. The thing with with most of these older um, older packs, though, is that the cards are only really worth value if uh, if you get them graded and they grade well. Um, otherwise, like the raw version is only worth like two or three bucks. But like I said, I got these out of Fairfield boxes. And you know what? I was looking for the right time to open them. And you know what? On a big football Sunday like this. Figure this is the time to open them. JVK cards and collectibles. What's up? Uh feel free to put your pick for the game uh in the chat. Also feel free to type in the name actually I'll just mention it. So we got JVK cards and collectibles, love for sports cards, card collector 2389. Feel free to go over, open a tab and subscribe to each other. Also if you have not, please hit the subscribe on my channel. Uh, in addition, I'm running a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card giveaway. I made a video about it yesterday. Um, so enter that. There's like a week left on the six days left on that one. Uh, like I said, I have a break tomorrow. I'm doing a flash sale. So feel free to buy in. I would you know, love to sell you a couple spots and pull some cool stuff. Uh, we're going to finish up with these packs. And then I'm going to do the 2005 Upper Deck Plaster Box. Larry Johnson out of 10 was out of an NBA. Illusions five dollar fat pack. Now that's a pull. Um, yeah, five five dollar fat pack. I haven't seen those in a long time. Of course, there's a lot of things I haven't seen in a long time. Here's a chief there, Steve Deberg. Does anyone remember Steve Deberg playing quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs? I'm sure they're happier. Uh, I'm sure they're a lot happier that they have uh, their buddy Patrick Mahomes at the helm today. Uh, also, because Steve DeBerg, since that was 30 years ago, Steve DeBerg is probably about 60 now. <laughs> is Tom Brady going to play till he's 60? I know he says he wants to play till he's 50, but is he going to be like Satchel Page? I think Satchel Page pitched until like 59 or something ridiculous, didn't he? Um, I hear you. I, I hear you. But you know what, JBK, feel free to show up tomorrow for the live stream or see the replay. Um, there's always an active chat. People are going to be talking about baseball. Uh, series one is there's a name for you, Carl Mecklenburg. Series one's coming out on Wednesday, and uh, my plan is to uh, try to get some retail. Maybe if I can get a hobby box that's not obscene, uh, and then do a mixer and combine it with 2020, uh, 2015, 2016, 2014. We're going over to Fleer this time. Let's see, the Austin Martin was fifth overall out of 50. 
instead of a mega box pack. <laughs> your retail luck, I gotta say, your retail luck. If there's a second Steve Devert, I don't know. Is this a sign that uh, the Chiefs are gonna win? I pulled in consecutive packs. I pulled a uh, Chiefs quarterback two packs in a row. Haven't pulled a, a Buccaneers card in a little bit of time. We shall see. I don't know. Oh, there's a Buccaneers card of a punter, Chris Moore. If you're looking for more, my friend. Mike Munchak, he is a he is a coach, an assistant coach. So it looks like I got about four or five more of these packs. I did uh, so far the best. If you're just joining now, I pulled two of the Montana cards from uh, Notre Dame. I went through my stack. If you want to go back later, I, I want to go through the stack uh, of – I showed some cool rookie cards and stuff that uh, – that I have for football at the beginning. So there's some neat stuff like a Russell Wilson rookie card. Uh, Paul Gruber, Buccaneers. Man, a lot of guys, I got to be honest, a lot of these guys are from 1990 I've never heard of. Pretty much everyone in this pack so far. Well, Herschel Walker, of course. Herschel Walker. Lawrence Taylor. Mike Malarkey, who also was a uh, assistant coach. I don't know if he's still an assistant coach. After this, we do have some leads. Draft packs, so we could pull a Burrow out of one of those. We could also pull a Tua or a Jalen or a, a Justin Herbert. Oh, well, you got to go. Well, I hope you enjoy the game today. Um, take care of yourself. Let's see. Um, Blues fourth, fourth round pick, 101 Black. Black Finite uh, out of a $10. Dude, did you buy a Luffers? Did you buy, um, did you buy a lottery ticket? Because if you didn't buy a lottery ticket, you really should. Because if you pull those kind of cards, that means you're on a hot streak, which means you really got to press your luck and go buy like one to 10 lottery tickets and then see if you can become a millionaire. Because imagine how many one of one cards you can get if you're a millionaire. That's what I like to say. Let me see. When you say, you know what, Luffers, if you could, you can email me at Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com with a link to that video. And I will take a look. Um, although it's going to be a spoiler because you just told me everything. But uh, but yeah, feel free to email me. Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com with a link to that video. Um, last pack of Fleer 1990. Draft choice, Andre Ware. And then we're doing two leaf packs. And then I'm busting open looking for that uh, Aaron Rodgers rookie card. Let's see. All right. I know it sounds like I'm flipping through these super quickly, but that's because I am. Let's be honest. I got tired of 1990 player. Um, there's a reason they stick them in the Fairfield boxes. I know I said that like five times, but it's true. Um, there's a reason usually they stick these leaf cards in here too. Um, I think if they're heavier, there's a chance they're not open. They're, I think they already kind of like pre-feel up the, uh, the packs before they throw them in the Fairfield boxes. Those are your three best retail pulls all in one day. Wow. There's a Tua. I know it's dra leaf draft, so it's only worth like a buck or two probably, but it is a Tua, and so it's getting sleeved up. I'll save up this Deion Sanders anyway, because the dude was prime time. I mean, he's still prime time, although he's prime time at the kitchen now. I guess I don't know. Oh, it's not even uploaded. I was wondering why I hadn't seen it. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I won't let you upload it either. That's strange. Um, you know what you can always do uh, since we're talking the tube? And as you, as you, if you notice, I'm kind of like trying to use slang lingo for a reason, because sometimes I don't like it when you name things off. Um, you could do like a hit, hit recap video and, uh, the tube will probably upload, let you upload the hit, hit recap video. Cole Komet is, is Cole Komet rookies, the uh, most pulled cards in 2020 football. Also, who do you think is going to be the most pulled card in 2021 football? I guarantee you it won't be Trevor Lawrence because that is going to be the chase, the chase card. Um, but anyway, you know what, Luffers, even if, even if you can't do a recap video, I'm glad you came and shared that um, over here because you know what? You pull something like that and you want people to see it because it is super rare. You did not mention though, did you, did you, uh, did you get a lottery ticket? These are the important things in life. And did you win the lottery? And are you just a millionaire now? And uh, are you a millionaire and you're just hanging out on my live stream because uh, you got tons of money? Uh, Touchdown Kings, Joe Burrow. I don't know how much this bad boy is worth, maybe a buck or two, but still, it's a Joe Burrow. Could go up in price eventually. It is Leaf Draft, though. Lots of drafting going on. I remember when 1990 Leaf Baseball, I remember 
was huge. It was like super big when I was growing up. So the fact that uh, the leaf has just fallen so much is weird to me. Anyway, here we are. Um, 35 minutes in, we are doing the 2005 Upper Deck. Of course, we are searching for the Aaron Rodgers rookie card. Uh, also, I think Frank Gore could be in here, a couple other people, but it's mostly, mostly Aaron Rodgers, which is crazy because Aaron was sitting in the green room, um, in the uh, green room, till like, what, 24th, 23rd or 24th pick, something like that. Uh, just so you know, if you want to see pack odds, it's hard to see them because it's super small, but uh, star rookie cards, one in one pack, rookie prospect, one in one, star rookie limited cards, one in eight. It does say the worst odds you can get is Upper Deck Game Jersey Patch, one in 960 pack. Oh, Alex Smith, too. Thank you for sharing. You can't buy one. Too. Okay, I get it. There's an age limit on the lottery. You should have had your dad or your mom or grandma or grandpa or whoever said, you know what, hot streak, let me pick some numbers. We're going to the gas station. I'll pick you the winners, and you'll thank me later. Anyway, here it is. Upper deck. Let me. I'll clear these out in the corner for the moment. Can I always show them later? They're not going anywhere. They're just not going to squirrel away from my kitchen table. Anyway, here's your thick upper deck packs. Are they going to be so thick because it's going to be super cool autograph or something? We'll find out. You know, would be great is if you pulled like the Aaron Rodgers in pack number one. Oh, I forgot to say it at the beginning. You're just one pack away from greatness, and I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull some Aaron Rodgers rookie fire. See? Maybe we'll warm up there because I, I said it. Got to go with the old motto. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about you. Um, first time I've seen 2005 Upper Deck in person because uh, that was a long time ago. Charles Rogers. A Ray Lewis. There's the back for you here. There's the back. Stephen Davis. Dwight Freeney. What is this? Random. It's a random promotional card. Okay. Josh Savage. Oh, no, there's going to be brick. Josh Savage for the Bucks. Corey Dillon. Here's a Drew Brees. Will he or will he won't? It's not will he won't. Star rookie is Ryan Motes for the Eagles. And the rookie prospect is J.J. Arrington. So, like, uh, like was promised, we are getting rookie cards and prospects, but not... Nothing against old JJ or Ryan Motes, but those are not the people we're looking for, man. Uh, you know, it would be funny if you pulled like Aaron Rodgers and uh, and Alex Smith in the same pack or Aaron Rodgers and Frank Gore. Like the three, two of the three best cards in the entire set all in one pack. I'm just going to keep saying it until that Aaron Rodgers shows up because I want my money back. I want my money back. Uh, Chad Johnson, Chris Chambers, Joey Harrington. Man, there's going to be a thick promotional card in every pack, won't there? Brian Westbrook, Drew Bennett. Either way, thank you for joining, and uh, I hope you've had a good time talking. I know there's a bunch of live streams going on. I've seen, I've seen um, Rob Hirsch. Did you just get it finished eating a Philly cheesesteak sandwich? I got I got to make that reference. I don't know why. I just have to. Um, the Drew Brees is fourth year. Um, so Luffers is here. Rob Hirsch is here. JVK had to go. Um, sports card collector. Uh, go subscribe to each other. Um, Rob has a cool hockey card giveaway on his channel. I off the top of my head, I don't know when it ends, but go go subscribe and uh, join in. Uh, Luffer has pulled some monster hits out of retail yesterday. Darren Sproles, that's that's not the name we're looking for, but Darren Sproles was was huge at the time. Um, he was a great player. And then uh, Stefan Luffers uh, was the prospect, but Darren Sproles. I'll sleep up Darren Sproles because he he was awesome. I was a big fan of the old Sprolster. Um, but yeah, go look at, at Luffers because uh, he pulled a, he he's going to upload an edited video where he pulled some monsters, like a one of one I don't know if it's possible to pull a one of one out of 2005 Upper Deck, but it would be awesome if we did it. Ooh, there's one. There's a, there's not Aaron Rodgers, but there's the Frank Gore rookie card right there on the back. I'm going to sleeve that bad boy up right now before I do something stupid, like damage it. Um, you want your quarterback? No, I want my Aaron Rodgers. No, um, well, I just completely uh, reveal who the rookie is in that pack. But Frank Gore, one of the one of the biggest ones in the set. Look at that, cool, huh? Uh, not the Aaron Rodgers. The Frank Gore. I gotta admit, Frank is a great player. He is not worth quite as much. 
as uh, Aaron Rodgers? I mean, it's not offensive to say that. It's just the truth. See, uh, I never say when my giveaways end. I forget about them, and then someone reminds me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came over here and admitted. And admitted. It's so good. Matt Hasselbeck. Man, I'll tell you. The checklist is like the super thick inserts, man. Michael Clayton. It's like every pack I, I convince myself something cool will be in the middle. It's like I have like short-term memory loss or something. Bryant Dawkins and then a Mike Nugent Jets kicker star star rookie kicker card. Ah. Anyway. Okay. Well, I called Igor and I called Rogers. So the universe should deliver the Rogers. Let's be honest. It's gonna make it's gonna make the video and the live stream much more exciting because I titled it Aaron Rodgers rookie card hunt. If we actually pull the Aaron Rodgers rookie card. Um, so like I said, I got this off the uh, world's largest auction site. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I bought it on at an auction, not buy it now. And I don't know what happened. I must have caught it at a good time of day or in the middle of the week. Because it was, I mean, I say only $35, but a blaster box right now cost me 20 bucks. I can go buy an archives back blaster box right now for 20 bucks. Um, this is only 35 And considering the Aaron Rodgers rookie card is worth like 50 bucks. Um, let me see. There is a little bit of breaking, but they're cool cards. Let me show you here. Um, man, we're getting a lot of kicker cards. There it is for the Eagles. <laughs> anyway, that's not a very good Eagle impression. You know what? I, you know what I'm going for, though. Warren Sapp. We have a Kyle. Oh, Kyle Orton. Man, it, I don't know. And Eric Sheldon. Okay. Nothing against Kyle. He played He played pretty decent, but he's, he's not Aaron Rodgers. So we got four packs to go. I demand it. I demand it now. Um, anyway, so Rob and, and Luffers, you guys on the hunt for Series 1 at the middle of the week when Series 1 comes out? Oh, there's a Charles Rodgers. Um, I got to stop reading the backs when I open a pack. Um, yeah, it is amazing. Um so you on the hunt, uh, you on the hunt for optic, the, uh, the bleak and desperate hunt for optic football cards, which has led me down the path to nowhere, the path to absolute nowhere at the moment, but you never know. Uh, I have not seen any, uh, hanger boxes or blaster boxes or mega boxes. Palomalu. Star rookies, Chris Henry, still a good player, but. Anyway, I'll go through these later. Um, three packs to go. Yeah, Series 1, I'm looking for it. Uh, hobby, Wednesday. There's supposed to be retail blasters on Wednesday. Like I said, if I can find... Uh, i got to stop looking at the backs again. I keep telling myself that. Uh, if I can find retail or hobby, there's going to be a mixer break of 2021, 2020, you know, all the different kind of stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to plug it one more time. I have flash sale. On my break, baseball break is happening tomorrow. The Reds are $15. The Mets are $15. Uh, these $10 teams are the Brewers, A's, Twins, Rangers, Diamondbacks, Rockies, Giants, Marlins, Pirates, Royals, Red Sox, and uh, Orioles. So, should be fun. Feel free to stop by the live stream, even if you're not in the break, because it's always fun. I'm sure people will be talking about the results of the game tomorrow. For sure, I can almost guarantee you they'll be talking about it. I'll probably also be talking about um, the hunt for this and the hunt for that. And maybe even baseball will show up in the baseball card break. Zach Thomas, Sean Cody, and Carnell Williams. I don't know if this upper deck set was like 800 cards or something. I sure hope not. We got two packs to go. Um, it says, don't get done until Friday morning at 7. What game? Come on, Rob. I know you're a baseball fan and a hockey fan, but you're a... Uh, you're watching the game, right? I know your I know your Eagles are not playing, but um, it looks it's sure. I don't know if you heard, but I mean, I heard the um, I heard a rumor. I mentioned it earlier that old Carson Wentz might get traded to the Bears, and then Nick Foles and another package might be there. So, cue spikes, Reggie Wayne. But it, it seems more and more likely that Jalen Hurts will be the quarterback. Here's a, I think it's just an insert, but. Um, it would be the first insert we've gotten out of this entire box. Did they do one insert per box in 2005? 
I'm used to like every pack having like an insert. Um, anyway, uh, naturally I should do my research, but as it turns out, there's not a lot of huge, huge amount of videos of 2005 upper deck football blaster boxes on the internet. Um, there is, oh, I saw, I saw the yellow and I thought, oh my God, it's going to be it. And instead it's a Cedric Wilson. Derek Johnson and a Cedric Fesson. Derek Johnson is a good one. Not, I keep saying not Aaron Rodgers is if you guys don't know. Clearly he's not Aaron Rodgers, but um, one pack to go. Let's see. Uh, it's all sports talk where he was talking about. Um, Ra Carson Wentz or Carson Bench. Okay, last pack magic. And then uh, I'll go through a little bit of a recap. And uh, I'll probably plug my break again because let's be honest, it's my channel, and you know I feel like it. Um, but it's like I said, feel free to like show up and just hang out anyway. I mean, who doesn't like hanging out on the internet? Larry Fitzgerald, that's a nice shot. I gotta say, this is a pretty cool design. They got the little football um, texture kind of thing there. Al Zahir, Hakeem, Lee Evans. I will say this: even if I don't pull the Aaron Rodgers rookie card, it's still been fun hanging out with you guys. I had a good time, um, but let's be honest. It'll be a lot more fun if, if there's an Aaron Rodgers waiting like two or three cards away from here, and if it's not bricked. Okay, Nate Burleson, Julian Peterson, Deuce McAllister, Matt Castle, and uh, Reggie Brown. I don't know. Should I, I, know, I guess I'll save up the Matt Castle. I guess, reluctantly. Well, we pulled a bunch of quarterbacks. We just did not pull Aaron Rodgers, but we did pull the Frank Gore. So let's see. Uh, let me go through what we got here. So we got a Matt Castle, Derek Johnson, Barry Sanders, Kyle Orton, Eric Shelton, J.J. Arrington, Ryan Moach. Got the Frank Gore. I don't think that's going to recover my 35 bucks though, for the Frank Gore. Darren Sproles. Uh, also from the Fairfield bonus packs we had, we got Burrow here, a Tua there. Random Deion Sanders and two Jew Montanas. So uh, thank you so much for watching. So much for joining. I gotta say, um, let me pull out some of the top cards that I had because some people join late. Um, these are some of the cards that I have just pulled. For example, wouldn't it be cool if Tops? This is the Tops Russell Wilson. If Tops and Upper Deck uh, were still like, if remember, I know it was the '80s when. Um, when like eight different card companies were making football, hockey, baseball, and basketball cards. But I think it'd be cool if, if they all got licenses again, and then there was more competition. I think that would be super cool. Honestly, I don't know that it's ever going to happen, but uh, I think, you know, tops has a license for, I don't know how much longer uh, for a while. I'll put this as the, as the last card. Cause we're just talking now. Um, I don't know how much longer, but like Panini's got a license for, I think I, I don't quote me on it for like, I think five or six more years or something. Um, and Upper Deck only really does hockey and Marvel and then like some other random stuff like James Bond and stuff like that. Um, I've heard that Upper Deck is having financial uh, problems. I could be wrong about that. You guys let me know. Um, I will say I'm not a huge. I like this old Upper Deck football, but I had, I took a beating yesterday with my Upper Deck hockey boxes that I opened. I, I opened the boxes. I got online and I looked it up. And I think I opened like $70 worth of stuff on my live stream for hockey yesterday. And I think everything's worth maybe like 20 bucks total. Um, I thought, oh, I'll just throw it up. I'll, like, I'll make a video and be like, anyone want to give me like 20 bucks? I'll just give you all the cards. Um, anyway, the game is on in an hour and a half. Well, I mean, they say it's 3.30 uh, Pacific time. But I think 3.30 is when the national anthem and the pageantry and you know the nonsense starts i don't think i don't think the game starts for another what is it hour and 45 hour and 50 um because that stuff takes like 20 minutes or so coin toss all that kind of magic um yeah the tops hockey killed me too but you know what really killed me is that uh this is the tristar the the hockey hunt thing that was like 20 packs of futility man that was brutal it was brutal um anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me flip through some random football cards. Like I said, there's going to be a baseball card break tomorrow. 
And uh, even if you don't join, it's going to be fun because I have Topps Chrome Update. I have Topps Holiday Box. There's going to be 2019 update pack. There's a 2017 update pack. Looking for the Bellinger. 2015. Anyway, tons of stuff. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're on the replay, you're probably like, what are you talking about? This is like March when I'm watching this. Uh, in which case, I do apologize for confusing the living out of you. Anyway, bye. Hit that subscribe button. Thank <laughs> you.